Hi, this is Martin Shotrock. I'm going to introduce you to the SV9100 system. This is going to be a basic setup for a system administrator. A lot of times with system administrators, uh, employees change. They leave the business and then another employee comes in and takes over someone's phone and the name needs to be changed on the phone. We're also going to add some OneTouch and DSS buttons to, this, to, the, uh, to individual phones. So first you're going to do is log in with your favorite browser. Use the IP address that you've been given to get to the system. Log in with your your name, username, and your password. Click on login. Once you're there, the system connects. Click on system data, and the Extension programming is underneath the 15xx extension setup. So click on the little plus there and go to extension basic setup. And we're going to go and change the name on extension 1101. So I'm going to go to my intercom extensions here, my pull down, find extension 1101. And I can see that Mary Jones is no longer with the company. And I can go ahead and replace that name with the new person. So there's Fred Jones now. And click Apply. That uh, change has been uh, taken care of. And now the new person is sitting there and will just need to refresh their screen on their phone for it to take effect and to update the phone. So that's option one. A lot, what a lot of people like to do also is to add one touch or DSS buttons. So if we go to program 1507 function keys, find the phone we want to uh, uh, update in any of these MLTs we can go to any of these extensions and add a button on a phone. So we'll just go to the first one here, Fred Jones. These particular phones that are installed on the other end, that are actually working, are 24 button phones. If you notice your function keys 0, 1 through 16, but you don't see the other keys unless you go use the arrow keys or just simply search to one of the available buttons there. So now we're looking at key 10 at the top and we can see the last physical button on the phone is right here is, is button 24. Well, let's just go back to option function key 1 real quick. What we're seeing here is that uh, we have on function key 1 which is the top left button on the phone is a trunk key and it's trunk 1. We, button 2 has a trunk key, it's uh, line 2, and so forth. Trunk keys, lines 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is a squared system. We have keys 1 through 6 on the top row are trunks. The second row down, first on the left, is trunk 7. So we have some spare keys there. Uh, let's see, right, these are all spare. And then we notice that there's a DSS key already here for uh, a feature. And we have some virtual keys. I won't go over virtual keys in this video, but I will go over in detail on another video because it's a little bit in depth. So that's keys 1 through 16. And again, I can just click on the little arrow here and see more of them if I want. So now I'm 17 through 24. Again, this is a 24 button phone that's physically connected on the other side. You have up to 48 buttons if you add different modules, but in this case, they're not. Again, we have these virtual extensions that are being used. We have an intercom key. So the bottom row, far left, is the intercom key. So anytime there's an extension extension call inside their system, it will light up on this intercom key. Uh, you don't have to have an intercom key, but every time I don't put one in, an employee or a uh, system, the, the user will find a reason to have it. So by default, I always install intercom keys in all the phones. The uh, 
Next two keys are cap keys. These are used for trunks. This particular system has uh, IP tie lines between multiple sites. So when somebody calls someone from another site over the tie line, they have to have a cap key to take the call. Cap key, another word for it in different phone systems, it could be a loop key, it could be a trunk key, it could, NEC just happens to call it a cap key. We can assign cap keys. Uh, each phone has their own individuals. This happens to be the first one, cap key one, cap key, key, cap key two. If we go to a different phone, the next one over, you see it's three and four. Next phone over is, uh, let's see, we got cap key seven and eight, and so on. Just keep increasing. They're all individual cap keys. We'll go back to the very first phone one here that we're at. So it's just cap keys. They're just, again, used for trunk calling. And this system has a pager hooked up to their um, system, and they're using trunk number eight. And it just happens to be on that button. So it's just how it physically looks. But if you wanted to, again, to add a DSS one touch key, we'll go back to the first button. We have some spares here. And old Fred here, he wants to be able to see the person if the person's on the phone next to him. So we can add a DSS one touch key, use the pull down, go to DSS here, put in the extension number. He wants to see 1102 when they're on the phone. And we'll just hit apply. And that save has been made. Same thing, we can go to uh, 1102, same button on, on this phone, and put in extension 1101, apply it. Now extension 1102 can see when Fred's on the phone. It'll light up red as a DSS key. Direct station select is what that stands for. Um, we can also make a, a one touch key. Let's go back to Fred on the pull down. Fred says, yeah, I want this uh, this here when I can see who's on the phone next door. I can use it to transfer calls. It makes it really convenient. But I also want to have my bank's phone number on here. So I can go back to a one touch key, put in nine in the phone number. And now hit apply. Now, when Fred goes to his button number nine and he presses the key, it will call dial 9 and dial this local number to the bank so he knows what's going on. So that's really, really easy for individuals to, uh, or administrators to change names, add buttons. If you wanted to, let's say uh, Mary next door to him at extension 1102 wants these same, er, the same button right here, this number this bank key, they're, they're in an accounting department. We can copy this to one or more, multiple phones on the same button, really easy. So I'm here, I've got the, the number in on the system, it's on function key nine. If I hit copy, pulls up a new little bubble. I'm copying from extension 1101, Fred. I'm going to select button nine, and I'm gonna copy it to 1102, 1103, and I would say 1111. I can do one or individual ones, however I choose. Just use the shift key and scroll down like that. And then just hit apply. And now if we go to the phones, I'll just use the little arrow key, jump to the next extension. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. If we use the pull down, we'll see the number is here now on these other phones. I've added this by using that copy feature. Really easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. Hit apply. and I'm going to copy this blank one to the other phones real quick. So I'm copy from 1111 and I'm going to copy to these phones right here. I'm going to copy function key 9 hit apply and now you can see that go back and all those numbers are blank now as I use the pull down to find them. Really easy. Remember DSS key 
It can be used to transfer calls. It can be used to know when it's another extension's on the phone. It'll light up on my phone. One touch key par par uh, portion of it is just used to dial nine and dial a number local long distance. Just put in the numbers that you need to complete the call. Once you're done, be sure to hit home and then log out of the system. You're back to the welcome screen. All right, I hope you are successful at that. If you have any questions, just email us at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com. S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com. Thanks.